Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Journals here from the Journals of Awakening. I am here to discuss my journey so far as a uh, sober from alcoholic American. So let's just jump right into it. So uh, first of all, I still have cravings. I am I've been sober since four twenty four twenty three. That's uh, over a year and a half, going on two years, hopefully soon, right? Definitely, definitely going on two years. I have not had a relapse, which I'm I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's been a rough journey. It's been uh, an emotional ride, very, very emotional ride. Uh, I have a problem with addiction. I try to replace my habits with other habits you know and i just i've never known how to cope um with just i don't have any i don't have any coping skills so that's that's what it boils down to so in the last year year and a half two years you know i've been keeping myself busy and, and when i say that i mean with hobbies and things i really enjoy so, uh i've been real busy with um playing guitar i've really gotten into that i have a few of them starting to really buckle down learn some chords and break down all that good stuff you know what i mean and that's keeping me nice and busy because I, I really enjoy that i've made that in all honesty i smoke a lot of weed i do i spoke about an ounce of weed every every two weeks you know so in a sense i would say i'm still not sober you know i still don't have coping skills i i i, I do my best i am a human and I promise you guys, it's my best. It is, man. I quit all these things cold turkey. I used to smoke cigarettes for 18 years. I had a drink for the same amount of time. And just kind of quit everything, you know. Decided I wanted to live longer. Went and got a colonoscopy and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. I got some dental appointments coming up. I'm just trying to, trying to live a little longer, you know what I mean? The one thing I've noticed since I've quit drinking, the, the, the big thing I've noticed is I'm hypersensitive. And I don't just mean emotionally, I mean sensitive to touch, sensitive to hearing. Like, my senses have heightened and it's hard to get used to. I really feel that's what's going on. My senses are heightened, I can't get used to it. <clears throat> so that's been a fun experience trying to wrap my head around. Um, I'm not getting any younger. I'm 35 years old now. <sighs> Is uh, I've I've had a few literal panic attacks, literal panic attacks. I've had a few of them. It's my sobriety because um, you know I don't really know, but you know, I, death's really scary to me now. I I don't want to die. I don't, and uh, I guess that's good, right? Like you just want to be alive. I just want to live. I want to live. You know, but uh. So yeah, I think um, the next goal for me, like I said, it, it, it hasn't been struggle-free. So I think, uh, I don't know, I'll start working out again. But just so you know, I've I've been down this road and I've done this route uh, a few times and since sobriety. And I just can't, I can't stick to anything. I'm just that kind of guy, you know. I've had at least 60 jobs in my life. And that's that's not a lie you know i'm not proud of it i've got a lot of experience but um i don't know i just i don't take well to authority i i never have in my sobriety i'm i i take even less authority and my my fuse is shorter and i don't, I don't like that I, i've been working on self-improvement tons of self-improvement i swear that's all i do these days and you know sometimes it gets a little burnt out no, but I, I keep at it, you know. I keep uh, my palm on my rock in my pocket, you know what I'm saying, MGK, you know. And uh carry around my jade and I carry around my uh my sobriety coin with the date and uh, the the date I quit drinking is also I tattooed it on my leg. That's the other thing I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of tattoos myself. Now, I'm not an artist. <laughs> I'm not a tattoo artist by far. But I don't give a darn i've been doing it and uh you know it's it's pain i can control and it's a hard thing to comprehend it's a hard thing to even accept i'm sure for most people that's probably oh my goodness you're hurting yourself yes completely right i mean you could buy a piercing kit and do that yourself but i don't like blood so i don't do piercings so i do tattoos but i i've gotten good at stenciling and 
looking things up on the interweb, you know, and it's, it's not impossible. Just saying. That's one of the things I've been doing. And, you know, I just, I've got this real, I don't give a darn attitude, you know, I'm trying to keep this PG as I can. And, um, but at the same time, I, I care, that's what it is. I care too much. I care too much about everything. So I'm always upset and angry and stuff. So I'm just trying to learn to let it go. So that's been, that's been the mission here, a year and a half into sobriety from alcohol, is learning to let things go, learning to just kind of accept things the way they are. I've been, I've, I've really come a long way when it comes to my acceptance. And, uh, you know, I still, you know, it's just like, uh, I still get out there. I still do my vigilante stuff, you know, I'm doing my thing, but uh, all is well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. I still have nightmares of getting drunk. I do. I have nightmares about it, and uh, I wake up in tears, I do, because the feeling, I mean, just talking about it, the feeling of, of complete, you know, disregard is what alcohol does for me. It's just the feeling of disregard. I don't care, you know. I really, I think, I've treated my family a lot better. I know, I know I have. My kids, you know, my kids deserve better. You know, they're going to grow up now with a dad that's not an alcoholic. This is wonderful for my boys, you know, 12, 8, and 5. <laughs> so important. And uh, working on a baby. I'll take that how you want it, but that's what it is, you know. We've gone through some things. Uh, we've, we've really been given the boot, you know, when it comes to life. It's just uh, I fight back. And that's where we are. That's where we are. We're here right now. We're fighting. And one day the fight will be over. One day. And when it is, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Until then, I appreciate you guys. For real. Big love. Shock kills. Peace and love.